My name is John Ellison. I am the founder of Climbers Against Cancer, the charity that started in January uh, 2013 with, with the aim to raise awareness across the climbing community worldwide and through the, well, and through the sale of t-shirts and the raising of money through events and fundraising events and making donations globally. Well, I was diagnosed with terminal cancer in um, October, at the end of October 2012, and I was given two years to live. The problem is that I have um, an advanced, ag aggressive, well, a very aggressive advanced prostate cancer that, when they first found it, and it was already metastasized into my bones. So I have about 30 tumors on my bones, which causes pain all the time. But then just, just recently, um, I think maybe three months ago, they also found some extra tumors in my lymph glands, in my pelvic area, which is now causing a problem called lymphedema, which means the lymph fluids don't flow properly, so my legs are swollen. So I think I've got a few challenges. Through the strength of the climbing community and the love and support of everybody, it gave me the energy to uh, keep going. And I think the, um, the specialists are very surprised. But at the end of the day, it's amazing what you can do. So in 2012 at the World Championships in Bercy in Paris, I just realized that there was so much energy in the climbing community and everybody, it felt like everybody was a, a member of my family. So I decided to start the charity and the rest is history, really, in a, in a way. It's just gone from strength to strength. They initially said that I would only live for anything up to two years, and now it's three and a half years, maybe more than three and a half years. And um, I don't think I'm going to be dying just yet because I'm too busy. <laughs> I, I'm too busy to die, as I say. I've just got so much to do. Um, the pain is difficult, sleeping is difficult, walking is difficult. You know, but hey ho, I'm still here. I'm smiling, I'm happy, I'm amongst friends, and I would actually say I'm the happiest part of my life. I used to like skiing and snowboarding and mountain biking, uh, but mainly I had a love of climbing and also from climbing outdoors. I wasn't um, a world beater, let's say, I just enjoyed it as a, as a sport, but I also got involved in. Um, the uh, judging side of things. So I'd been a, a national judge and a national jury president in the UK, and also involved with the British junior climbing team as part of the management team for four years uh, before I started Climbers Against Cancer. Right. We've sold t-shirts in every country and we continue to sell t-shirts in every country and we've sold somewhere in the region of 25,000 t-shirts in two and a half years and raised about 500,000 euros gross in a lot of languages, in English, in German, in Dutch, in, in French. CAC actually, CAC actually stands for shit. And when I thought of the word climbers against cancer and CAC, I just thought it has a bit of a twist to it that people, it doesn't say shit, but it's, you know, some people say, does that say shit on your t-shirt? And what it happens then is people get talking about it. So they talk about it, they, they discuss it, and it brings out the conversation, you know. Behind the scenes, it's more like a business. <laughs> it's very difficult because I'm not a businessman, so um, I spend a lot of time, more, more time working now than I ever did when I was working. Um, every, everything that's done is done voluntary, so I don't get paid for this. <laughs> so, it's, um, but it's the most enjoyable work I've ever done, you know, it's, um, because it's part I'm passionate about it and I think the main thing is that the climbing com community has endorsed the, um, the charity and they've taken it to the heart. So whether it's um, you know, a, a recreational climber or a world, world class climber, everybody is supporting the charity and uh, doing the best to promote it. So that helps and of course it takes it further and further as we go. If you have a project and you're uh, focused on what you want to achieve, then it's very easy to uh, to overcome, you know, setbacks. So I have setbacks on a di pardon me. I have setbacks on a daily basis, which makes it for me 
being a climber or a sport outdoor sportsman actually really sets me up for the challenge you know so in a way i enjoy the challenge i don't enjoy having cancer of course but it gives me a, a focus that i think can, maybe the normal person would not not be able to achieve you know well i, I don't really think too hard i think that's the thing about marketing I, i'm not really a marketeer but i think by i think people really think too hard and i think by keeping things simple it makes life easy you know and everybody enjoys like all the products that um you know that are brought out and the things that we will bring out soon they're all fairly simple so it makes it's just happy you know it's you know everything's very cheerful everything's very simple but it makes people smile and when people can smile they'll all wear it you know and and the thing is with the CSE t-shirt it doesn't matter what age you see you see families with children you know the the mum and dad and the grandma and granddad all wearing the cat t-shirts so it's it's quite a breakthrough you know it's quite a strong statement really because it's a very open charity it's very colorful it, crosses the boundaries, a lot of people are really happy to talk about it. So what they do, they discuss their own situations and they discuss their own cancers or their own family histories or their problems or whatever. So it's become a real, really strong foundation, you know, and hopefully long may it continue. At the office, just me. Yes, you. Video, I fold the t-shirts, I bag the t-shirts, I send the t-shirts. I do pretty much everything, yeah. I work as many hours as I can and when I have a moment in the day when I'm traveling I, I do emails and send emails and discuss projects with people and Skype calls and some people do volunteer now and again I have volunteers some days but not on a regular basis so you know the day-to-day -day work with CSC is just myself. No, 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 the idea was to make it universal because people are buying t-shirts all over the world so why not give them a feeling that they're get, being rewarded for that. So people are buying t-shirts in Australia, why not make a donation in Australia? You know, and it's, it's for cancer, not for a specific cancer. So it means that everybody benefits, you know. That was the idea. So it's always about fairness, you know. I wanted everybody to benefit from kite. Nobody to make any money, just basically to make it fair, you know. Uh, Australia, uh, France, Canada, United Kingdom, um, America, uh, Germany, South Korea, and Austria, and then tomorrow is Mexico. Ideally, if more people will buy the t-shirts and you'll see more climbers with the t-shirts, I, I only think we've just scratched the surface, so it's up to the people to keep spreading the word. And, you know, I think like events like tonight, we'll make sure that everybody sees the t-shirts in photographs and and then they'll maybe ask what is that t-shirt and we'll get more orders and then it's just perpetuating you know. I would just say keep smiling, stay strong and talk to talk, be very open because by being open you can um, you can share the grief of the cancer because it's very psychological and, and you can actually re relieve that psychological pressure by talking to people and be open about it, you know, and just live your life, you know. We all die at some time, you know. It's, we don't have a choice when we, you know, when we're born and we don't have a choice when we die. But what we have a choice of is what we put in the middle. I, I think it's like a sandwich. You're born with one slice of bread, you die with one slice of bread, and it, it's, it's the filling that you put in between that makes the super sandwich, you know. So.